So right now, I'm in Palm Springs, California, and I'm going to be filming a travel vlog with the Osmo Pocket 3. So that's what I've got right now and what I'm gonna be filming my entire trip with. I wanted to really show you guys how well this camera handles uh, traveling and all of that stuff. So I'm from Canada, if you didn't know that by now. I'm filming in 4K at 60 frames per second using the internal mic, but I will be testing out all kinds of different things throughout this entire trip. So about two years ago, I was here at Joshua Tree and um, I came with a large DSLR camera. So it wasn't as easy to film uh, my trip. So I decided to come with Osmo Pocket this time, Osmo Pocket 3, and it's honestly been the easiest thing so far. I'm still filming in 4K at 60 frames per second, but this time I'm also um, filming in D-Log M. So the thing is with D-Log M, you have more creative freedom or just freedom in general while editing a video. It's a big thing if you understand what filming in a flat profile uh, can get you. But uh, we just thought, we just had a little stop right now at Ocotillo, that's what it's called. I'm not really sure what that means. Honestly, this thing is amazing. D-Log M, internal mic still, um, but I'm going to test um, the DJI mic very soon. So let's go ahead, we're moving on to the next spot. It's called Choya. Choya, Choya? that's how it's in? Okay. <laughs> Man, if you ever see one of these guys, you better not touch them. These things are sharp and they can aim you. They got these little babies all over the place. Like, look at this guy right here. Look at this guy right here. This thing is dangerous. I stepped on one two years ago, and it took forever. We had to get pliers to try to get them out, which was not fun. So I've got the DJI mic to, um, stuck to my shirt, so it's magnetic, if you didn't know, and you can pick up more if you've got multiple people that you're trying to uh, record audio for. So it's a bit better than the internal mic, in my opinion, but the uh, internal mic is still better to use for most situations as, as far as I'm concerned because it's right in there and it sounds amazing for what it is. Honestly, I find myself using it way more than I use this little guy right here. But if you want, you know, kind of a one-on-one -on -one session where it's more intimate, then you definitely want to grab or use the DJI mic too. Okay, something else I wanted to show you guys, I'm going to try out uh, the face tracking. So FT selfie mode. So it'll keep you in focus. You, the subject, will be in focus throughout. So it comes on automatically once you set it up in the menu. All right, so now I've got it on and to activate it, all you gotta do is double tap the joystick and it'll center the camera. So that's pretty cool right there. I actually love the tracking feature because it keeps you in focus. No matter what you're doing, so you're moving the entire thing, is just keeping you in focus. You can even set the camera down and it'll still keep you in focus. Like, look at this thing, man. I will try to find somewhere that's better with a better platform of some kind to try it out and show you guys how that works, but it's, it's a great feature. Okay, so one of the things I really don't like about this camera is the fact that it's not waterproof. So keep that in mind. Maybe it's gonna come in a future iteration or a future model, but right now it's not waterproof. So it's not something that I would bring out or take to somewhere that's wet, but I have used it around water, like in the snow and whatnot, but they definitely not dropped it into a bucket of water or you know a pile of snow, not, nothing like that. Just a little bit of stuff just you know on the screen and whatnot, but it's a feature that needs to come to something like this. Something else I've noticed is that it's not very durable feeling. Like the screen feels a bit flimsy, like if you, and, and also the gimbal, like if you, if you mess around with it too much, I feel like this thing might actually get damaged. So you gotta be careful with it when using it. I mean, I've not noticed anything. It hasn't been broken yet. It's been working perfectly since I've had it, but you never know, it just feels that way. But yeah, that's all I can tell you guys over here. And I have just stepped on another one. I'm. Y'all gotta see this, man. Y'all gotta see this. I stepped another one. I can feel that shit, man. It's crazy. I did. I did. Just, 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 just don't say nothing. <laughs> oh my god, I did it again. Oh my god, look at this crap. Look at this crap. I didn't even step on it. It, it stuck to me. It found me. That's crazy. Oh my goodness, those things hurt too. Good. No, no. It wasn't as bad this time. Last Jesus. Year, I... I told you I didn't step on it. I know. It came to me. Oh, they're jumping something, eh? They're jumping cactus. Jumping cactus. That's what they, they call it. Whoop, you see? It's right there. Yeah. You know what? Right I've there. had my fun. Right now I have an ND filter on, the one that DJI sells for the Osmo Pocket 3. But I'm going to take it off so you guys can see what it looks like when I don't have it on. So I have the, I think, highest one, 128 um, ND. So that's the one that's kind of good for the situation that I'm in because it's, it's overly bright, essentially. It's crazy bright right now. But uh, I'm gonna take it off so you guys can see what it looks like. So the depth wouldn't be 
um, as nice as you can see right now. So there's more bokeh around me with um, the lens on, so or with the sorry ND filter on. So I'm gonna take it off right now so we can see what it looks like. Whoops, I dropped it. Okay, so this is what it looks like without the ND filter or the glasses um, on anymore. So let me know what you guys think what um, about the difference between using the ND and not. Is it worth it or is it not? Okay, so we're somewhere that's a little less dangerous. So big rocks, more sights to see than anything, which is really cool. So I don't have to worry too much about those cacti anymore, which is <laughs> awesome to say the least because I have to watch my step the entire way through. I would definitely recommend it for somebody who enjoys traveling um, solo or goes around by themselves and never has anyone to film but want to film their own trip. So it's so easy to use, you know, the joystick is right there, the record button is right in front of you and you can pretty much switch between modes on the fly. I mean, you've also got the ND filters which are like sunglasses for the lens so you still get that creamy, crisp bokeh effect that you get with this guy. This has actually made me start filming more, which is something I never did with my DSLR cameras whenever I traveled. I would just keep it in the bag, or I'd travel with it, you know, bring all the lenses, bring everything, but never actually film anything because who wants to deal with all that bulk, for real? So this guy right here, I can't drop it. Like, it's in my pocket, it's in my crossbody bag. It's easy to bring around, and all the features in this thing just make it, you know, perfect for uh, solo vlogging or, or travel vlogging or just honestly daily vlogging, any kind of vlogging. Man, you just have to love the gimbal on this thing. The stabilizing is amazing. I know phones have digital stabilization, but mechanical, nothing beats it. It's a beautiful sight out here. There we go. Get a little pan. I know you guys can see that right now, it's just dark, but that's because you have to face the sun or wherever the source of light is if you want to have the best footage. But as you can see right now, it's a lot better. My face is well lit. That's because we got the sun coming in from that way. It's so easy to take B-roll shots on the fly because it's, like I said, got uh, a gimbal on it. So you can just switch different between different modes. There's tilt locked and then there's the free flow and follow mode. So free flow and uh, follow mode is good for just general vlogging, keep the footage smooth and stabilized. But if you want um, more B-roll shots, then you want tilt locked. So it locks the tilt axis. All that's really holding you back is your creativity. And it films at 4K up to, I think, 120 frames per second. But I don't really use the 120 frames per second because it's a little handicapped. So I stay with 60 frames per second and that works out well for me. So one of the coolest things about the DJI Mic 2 or using it with the Osmo Pocket 3 is that you don't have to worry about where the camera is situated. Like right now I'm back in the camera, I'm walking away from it and I'm able to capture clear and crisp audio. So I've got somebody filming, filming me from behind and I'm just talking. You know, I've got the mic stuck to my shirt right now and it's just working phenomenally. It's one of my favorite things about it and you can always pick up even more uh, mics. I think you can connect about two of them to it and it's all Bluetooth connections. Super easy to set up. Uh, which is really awesome. You can also store one of the mics on um, the cover case for the Osmo Pocket 3, so it's easy for you to bring around. Nature is beautiful. That's all I, that's all I got, got to tell you guys right now, man. Enjoy it while you can. You know, we only live for a short time, so get out there, see what's out there, and take it in. That's what I'm doing. I don't have the, the little muffler, whatever they call it, which is supposed to help with the wind, so you're probably going to be hearing a bunch of wind noise. So something worth noting is that once you have the ND filter on, um, stuck there magnetically, you can't have anything else on there. So you can't use other attachments like the ultra wide uh, magnetic lens or something like that. It's not really a lens, but it's something that makes the standard lens on this thing wider. So I can't put that on there once I have the ND filter on there because they're both using magnets. So. Maybe they'll come, come out with a better way to stack them on together, but right now, they're not, uh, it's not possible to use them both on at the same time. Hotel gym it is. I mean, it's not stacked with a whole bunch of weights, but this will have to do. <laughs> got some mirrors, one or two benches, and what's the maximum weight they got? 50 pounds. I'm gonna get my workout in, I don't need a uh, 
to train crazy anyway, so this should be good enough. They got some towels, they got water over here, which is good. But um, yeah, I got my music. I'm gonna hit the little station over there. All right, so that's it. Got my workout in. Uh, and I think the track kit is pretty decent on this, man. I don't know about perfect, but for solo shooting, it works pretty well. Um, well, yeah, I'm pretty much done here. Let me get back to my hotel room. So something you're gonna probably deal with a lot when filming um, travel vlogs or just filming using something like the Osmo Pocket 3 is that the sun is gonna pop out at random times or you're gonna have uncontrollable light conditions. So it's just the way it is. Right now the sun is popping out at random points and um, it's handling it pretty well because I've got the exposure set on automatic right now. So the only thing I've got set to a specific color is the white balance, which obviously will also struggle. It just got super bright right now. All right, I'm throwing on the ultra wide lens because I can't have it on at the same time as I have um, the ND filter. So I can only throw this on. And that's what it would look like with, um, with it on, you know what I mean? So it's a lot more, you're able to hold the camera right in front of you a little bit closer and still get more. But personally, I prefer the um, normal, the standard lens that's already on it. It just looks a little bit better. I can notice it, but some people might not be able to notice it. So if I take it off, that's what that looks like without um, the ultra wide filter or lens uh, and now with the lens. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys think it's worth it to use um, the ultra wide lens or just go ahead and use the standard all the time. I hope that DJI does add more variants or more varieties um, of this lens because honestly it's kind of limited. So I still have the ultra wide lens on right now. It's actually really good to use when you want to capture multiple people or get to people in scene. Um, I've also got both DJI Mic 2s set up right now, so you get one with the Creator Combo, which is what I picked up, but you can also pick up an additional one now if you want to, you know, uh, travel vlog or just vlog with a second person. So we're going to test out how much better the audio quality is going to sound like when using the Bluetooth mic versus the internal mic. So we've got both mics connected right now, and it tells you um, on the screen that it's both connected. You kind of see it right there, so it's not something you miss. And then there's two little meters for, um, both mics up there as well. We've got a lot of like noise around. There's like planes constantly flying above us. So this is a good way for you guys to hear what it sounds like. This, I mean, there's a lot better beaches here, but this was like five minutes from our hotel and we have a flight to catch in a bit, so. Just a way to oh, end. Oh, the shells. Just a way to end the trip. Maybe I'm gonna start me a collection. Ew. Yeah, that's nasty. <laughs> Too late now, I grabbed it. The beach, you're on a beach, yeah. you're by the water, you know? Exactly. This is what you'd expect. I'm gonna take off this ultra wide lens. Well, Hannah said there's a big wave coming in soon, no. so I'm just stepping back. You know, the black in me big. say, step back, don't get took. There, there it was. <laughs> was that? I said there it was, but. Yeah, it wasn't a big wave. No. Pretty bright out here. I've decided to take off um, the ultra wide lens and switch the ND filter. I think 128, whatever the highest level is that you can get with um, the pack you pick up from DJI. So I still have my mic on, Hannah still has hers on right behind there, so we're still using that setup, but I've changed a couple things. I've now turned on noise reduction, which is a feature you can turn on directly through the Osmo Pocket 3's um, DJI Mic 2 menu. So I don't know, let me know what it sounds like, if it's a lot better, we're still in the same area, it's still noisy out here, so let me know if it's a lot better and if it's like you know, worth it to turn on noise reduction uh, or not. So we're at maximum zoom right now, digital zoom. Anna's gonna go try to catch a seagull. You scared them. <laughs> she scared them. 
It's giving them some exercise. Okay, so it's been about four months uh, in total now since I've had Osmo Pocket 3. And in that time, I've used it for all kinds of things, ranging from behind the scenes footage to vlogging content to even just randomly using the mechanical gimbal just to capture some b-roll footage what i'll tell you so far is that it's not a one and done device for all your filming but if you're somebody who travel vlogs or just vlogs in general and want something simple but still gives you a good enough quality level to work with you know for social media or whatever then this guy is the one if you want something you can just pick up throw in a bag and get out there then the osmo bucket 3 is it it has some flaws so far that need to be worked on like for example, we want more lenses. We want something that's better equipped for all kinds of weather conditions, ranging from rain to um, heavy sunshine or whatever it is. The Osmo Pocket 3 can always get better, but right now it's still one of the best, um, I guess, second camera, B camera, vlog camera that I've used so far. It's made me want to shoot more um, when traveling and film my experiences and stuff like that. So yeah, if you're considering it, I hope this has helped you in deciding if it's worth it or not. To pick it up but for me it's been a good buy it's something that i've been using quite more than i thought that i would but let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about osmo pocket 3 and using it for travel vlogging which is my main um, use case for it i hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video i hope i'll see you guys in my next video it's told me and I'm out, y'all. Peace. No really on risk, but it is my time. Dumbing out the mud, yes, in her prime. Supernova can't block my shine. Ten hour days can't top my grind.